test out the bike. I don't want to say compare, but uh, you know, this is my, my main bike is a Harley and uh, it's natural for me to always think of my bike, so. Back in Florida, I thought I'd stop by this beautiful piece of art, the Ferrari. Look at that. How about that? Actually, I stopped because I want to uh, put the two pieces of art one next to each other. I literally just got on the bike uh, 10 minutes ago, took it from uh, RMM. So that's the spot where I rented the bike. If you're in the West Palm Beach area, check them out. They've got a variety of lots of different bikes, a lot of gold wings, a lot of, uh, they got Beamers and tons of Harleys. And I just stopped by this uh, Ferrari and I had to stop up till now. This RT12, the 1200 RT BMW is, is really nice. This bike is uh, really nicely balanced. Cruise control is on right now. Uh, both hands are off and it's nicely balanced. I can say one thing, it's really confidence inspiring. Like I was going triple digits and I didn't realize that till I was, until I looked at the Speedo. bike is really cool really cool it's fun to ride it's not as powerful power delivery is smooth not as thumpy as our Harley I mean it's not as torquey but it's it's very linear very enjoyable very confidence inspiring I did a few slow turns and it was very confidence inspiring cruise control was great I was literally on the highway I was playing around with the radio uh, cruise control is engaged and I realized when I looked down at the speedometer I was going triple digits and I, it didn't feel like that so it's a different, like I said, oh, with the Goldwing already before, it's a different ride. The riding position is pretty comfortable. The only thing is you actually cannot stretch your legs out. I don't see anywhere where you can actually put highway pegs. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna feel after two or three hours ride. So I just came to look, to show the bike to my brother. My brother lives over here in Florida. I'll show you him in a second. He looks. He's a, an uglier version than me. Let's put it that way. Uh, that's, that's the boy. That's the professor, Mr. Professor over there. Hey guys, good morning. I'm here at Treasure Coast Harley Davidson and I made an appointment to meet up with Andy and he's one of the subscribers that just near a town near my parents. So he said, next time I'm here, give him a buzz and we'll go for a ride. So he's gonna take me out today, gonna take that opportunity. So he's gonna lead the way. He's not, he should be here any second now. There he is. <laughs> there he is. Oh, I like that. I like that. Like that sticker, there you go. <laughs> oh, nice. We're gonna go up to Fort uh, Fort Pierce. There's a beautiful three canopy area. You go underneath it, really cool. Then we're gonna go to Lake Okeechobee. On the way, we're gonna, you know, get some footage, test out the bike. I don't wanna say compare, but uh, you know, this is my, my main bike is a Harley and uh, it's natural for me to always think of my bike. <laughs> Nothing sounds like a Harley, a V-twin. You always want to be with the local tour guide. They always know exactly the best road. The goose behind me, holy shift. How about that? The live, the live canopy. How cool is that?
What's so difficult to do that, Harley? Tell me. I, I just don't get it. Why is that difficult? Sound on this bike is atrocious. The audio system, the stereo system is, is no bueno. The engine is not to my liking, and the pipes, the exhaust is just a sewing machine. That's not a great audio experience on this bike. <laughs> I'm transforming now these cars and planes. I'm always. This is one thing I wish I had. Nowhere to put your feet, your legs to stretch them out. And you do need it because the lower riding position, like from your waist down, is kind of cramped. It's comfortable, but it's cramped. There's no movement over there. Fort Pierce, we're gonna stop for a cup of coffee. Let me sh show you something cool. Keyless, everything is keyless over here. That's one. Got that. Bam! Shot. Anyway, these cases, once you put it on release, you pick this up and the whole bag comes out. Straight to your hotel room. Just here with bacon egg and cheese and a little hash browns toast english muffin english muffin <laughs> with extra butter it's very impolite to, to you know to look at people when they're eating i don't know you guys love it stopped <laughs> <laughs> off for breakfast just finished breakfast and let me try to summarize pretty much up till now the experience this flat uh, boxer engine, surprisingly enough, they made a, they did a great job smoothening it out. So it's a very smooth ride, very smooth ride. Shifting is butter, is smooth as butter. It's unbelievable. Riding position is, upper body is good. Upper body is really comfortable. Lower body, it's that sporty uh, 90 degrees uh, bend of your legs and not a lot of place to move uh, your legs around, so. I don't see I don't see it really comfortable riding long distances with this bike. The bike has all the possible electronics and comfort essentials needed. The, the heated grips, the heated seat, electrically adjustable windshield. The cruise control is very good. They've got this magnificent little ring on the left side by the grips, which lets you control everything really, really good. And audio sucks. The system sucks, the sound of this engine sucks, I don't like it. I just love the Harley thump and the, the pipes are terrible. It's a loud, low tone, low bass sewing machine. Listen to that Harley. Nothing like that sound. But it's a very enjoyable, enjoyable ride. Very See, I feel comfortable just using both hands and the bike is so well balanced it really is a well balanced bike really so it's got this this great little but uh wheel that you control like a joystick up and down right and left that controls through uh, controls all these uh, right here, all the all the different modes, and this is like the back and enter button. So all controls are on you, in, uh, pretty much on your left side, using your thumb and your wrist. So this bike is pretty much uh, a very comfortable bike. BMW's cars, I know it's the ultimate riding machine. Well, this is, it's, it feels like an ultimate riding machine. The thing is, I can't, because of the riding position in my lower body, 
I don't see myself, uh, I can't see myself doing long distances with it, but for everyday use and let's say up to two, three hours, this is the ultimate riding machine, absolutely. But I would definitely, definitely improve the audio system, put a different audio system on it and exchange and change the pipes on it, 100%. Wind protection, wind protection on this bike is phenomenal. I mean, yesterday when I was going on the highway, I was going triple digits, and I didn't, didn't even notice. I was cocooned in this whole big uh, vacuum over here. It really is something else. Wind protection is amazing here. And I bet you weather as well. So we're now on the intercoastal to these houses. So these are pretty much private docks. Handling of this bike on this bike is so predictable. You put the bike in a turn, wherever at whatever angle you put it at, it holds that angle. It doesn't want to drop and it doesn't want to uh, straighten you out. It just holds that angle. Uh, very predictable handling, let's put it that way. Slow speed maneuvering is amazing, really easy, so easy. See, that's what I miss, I wish I had. I wish I had uh, four boards, I mean, highway pegs. And with this boxer engine, there's just no way you can actually install them but feel comfortable. This bike has three riding modes. Currently we're in road. It's got rain and it's got dynamic. What's nice about it, it each mode changes the throttle response. It changes, it changes the adjusts the suspension, when you go to dynamic, which is uh, the more aggressive one, it changes it to hard. Currently we're normal because I'm at road, but when you change it to uh, dynamic, it stiffens up, it goes to hard. And if you go to rain, I, don't, I didn't notice what it does, but there's also soft mode. Anyway, really uh, a smart little computer chip that sits somewhere on this bike that controls the riding modes, obviously lean, traction control, ABS, all the good stuff, all the good stuff that we're not used to. And I think uh, we should, uh, Harley, we should step up our game. There's absolutely no reason why we don't, you know, offer this to uh, the rest of our bikes. By, uh, we're now in the, we're sneaking in pretty much. Uh, in the intercoastal, on our right side, there were houses, uh, then there was the road, and on the left side, there was, uh, there are docks, private docks, beautiful. We're looking northbound, that is uh, mainland, that's a road we just came down, there's the intercoastal, and there's the, the, like the island, we call it. It's Hutchinson Island, that's where we came from before. Jensen Beach Bridge. Let's let's listen to this engine, okay? I'm not crazy about it, but let's listen to it anyway. Well, it's a typical GS GS engine, same sound. It's that low low pitch sewing machine. Not in a negative way, but low pitch sewing machine sound. Brembo brakes, uh, drive shaft for the back, very smooth, very okay. reliable. Did I mention quick shifter? Quick shifter. Harley, come on. 2018.
by at the Lake Okeechobee. It's pretty much the size of an ocean over here. You look, all you see is like endless and endless, uh, from horizon to horizon, there's water all around. Andy's bike, it's got a 2021 Street Glide Special with the Venom, no, what is it? Snake, snake Venom, snake venom which is beautiful. In person, it's beautiful. I've seen one like this in France, but now I see it on your bike and it's beautiful. He's got the tab performance, 50 cals with the zombie baffles. Boy, that's noisy. That's really noisy. Uh, riding my bike, I kind of miss that noise. It goes like that. BMW R1200RT. Now what they did, they pretty much try to build the ultimate sport touring bike. And now let me try to grab each each aspect of it and tell you what I think about it. Uh, let's start with the, the touring aspect of this uh, sports touring bike. Pretty much it has everything you can think of. Everything. Suspension is double wishbone suspension in the front. I'm not sure what, tech, what technology they're using, but it's just great. And it's a computer controlled. So with every riding mode you put in, it gives you the perfect ride. Lighting, there's LEDs all over the place. Wind protection is amazing. With the windshield that is electrically, you know, moved, perfect. I'm sure that there's like rain protection, complete rain protection. Probably can ride this bike without any rain gear and you're still completely dry. Cruise control, really easy to use. Shifting is really, really butter smooth. I think storage is not the big advantage of this bike. I'm not sure how how big the storage is, but it fit a one or two day uh, uh, trip. It's really comfortable, integrated within the bike and lockable and detachable. So you take it with you to the hotel. Anything you can think of in terms of the comfort of the electronics and the design. The only thing that I am not crazy about is first of all, the placement of the mirrors. I don't like it. They're down on the bottom. It's kind of not really natural for me to throw my eyes down to look, but that's a small thing. The biggest thing is the riding position. From my waist down, it's it's a sporting position. It's my, my legs are 90 degrees folded and the pegs are pretty much underneath me and even uh, back. And there's two cylinders, uh, one on each side that uh, prevent me to stretch my legs out onto highway pegs that I don't really see it a possibility to put highway pegs. Maybe it can be done, but then you have to open up your legs like uh, on a gynecologist seat. So otherwise waist up, it's very, very comfortable. I would not go long haul with it, although it's, it's doable. I've been in the saddle for like four hours now and like 200 miles. I don't see me doing a full day in the saddle. Uh, it's just not not great for long haul. For long haul will be the ideal, the Harley Touring position and the Goldwing position. This is great for mid-range, I would say. Everyday commuter is great and uh, shorter touring. It's sport As a sports bike, it's great. The engine is smooth. The shifting is smooth, very responsive. It's got enough power, enough torque. The riding modes are, are very good. Suspension. Quick shifter, did I say? Throttle response is great. A really great combination between like sports and touring. Really, really, BMW did a great job, really did. I was just warned that there's alligators over here. I don't see any alligators. Uh, can I outrun them? I'm not sure. It's a nice little spot over here. Boats coming from the west, uh, coming from the shore, right there through this canal, to uh, through this uh, lock, into the Okeechobee Lake. And he's playing with his toy.
I'm transforming now these cars and planes, I'm always boarding Just out touring down in Charlotte like I play for Hornets When I'm performing, never boring, now you can't afford it Champagne Perrier, finished friends on my face Looking like I'm from the deep, these no Cartier's Pockets deep, 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 bro, I can make it in my seat, bro Do you and do me, bro, make it noise, use a beat Buddy, when you see this now, it's the video itself. I'd like to thank you so much for the hospitality and taking me out, show me, showing me the neck of your neck of the woods. It was really nice to ride out today. I thank you so much, so much, buddy. I'm gonna say goodbye to you very soon. Totally unrelated, but I want to thank Advan Black. That over over the last year and a half, they've been really, really supportive with you know uh, merch they gave and the saddle bags and stuff and they're they've been with me since 3000 subscribers so thank you so much to Alan and Advent Black you I really appreciate it thank you so much what do i think after riding this bike for i don't know a full day 250 miles i think it's a wonderful bike uh, and no you're not going to get the uh, the answer from me what is more fun to ride, a Harley, a Goldwing, or this? Each one of the bikes is a different experience, a different riding experience. But let me tell you something. Four years ago, I started a project. When I got off my small bikes, I started a project. I bought a 1980 BMW R65, which pretty much has the same, same engine. It was a flat boxer engine, two-cylinder, 650 displacement. And I went through a project of restoring it. This motorcycle is pretty much the same concept, the same technology of a boxer, a boxer engine, two opposing cylinders, 180 from each other, but 40 years ahead, 40 years advanced. And what I see is what I'm really impressed about is what progress and what improvements BMW engineering, BMW R&D designing, everything, what progress they made. And that actually gets me a little bit worried. Now, let me be more, more specific, and I don't want anybody, I don't want you guys to get all, you know, fluffy and all offended and stuff like that. But when I look at the advancement that this motor company has gone through in 40 years, and where Harley bikes are today, I think that uh, definitely, you know, we deserve a little bit more technology, a little bit more advanced uh, electronics, advanced suspension, a lot of a, a lot of improvements. And, and again, it's it's a totally different ride. It's a totally different experience. With Harley, it's a raw, a very raw experience. The motor, the engine, the sound, the smell, the vibrations, the wind, the culture, everything. But still, there's absolutely no reason why we can't enjoy some of these great improvements that the whole industry went through. Not only BMW, it's Honda, it's Indian. It's like everybody made uh, made a lot of progress and uh, Harley didn't, didn't go so far ahead. And I think it's time that we actually enjoy that because we can still keep the same riding experience, but get a little bit of that of that comfort and that uh, electronics and you know without sacrificing the, the culture or the experience itself that's it I really enjoyed this bike I'm not here to review you know the specifics how much torque how much horsepower I was just, just here to review you know the riding experience being a Harley person coming from my Harley 
and uh, just enjoying this bike. It was a great day out with uh, Andy. That's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. I'm Sandy. You're watching Holy Shift for the next video, guys. Peace out. Right.